My daughter's been enjoying her electric vehicle for a while now, and now I've finally found an excuse to try out an electric vehicle myself. Thank you to Autobot for giving me the excuse and allowing me to review their level two charger. This charger comes with a J plug or type one connector. If you don't have a NEMA 1450 outlet available, I recommend you contact a licensed electrician to install one in the vicinity of where you'll be charging your vehicle. The charger comes with a 25 foot charging cord, so you'll have to decide the best placement to install the charger in relation to your car. All of the instructions for installation are on the back of the template. The mounting hardware consists of three screws, three anchors, and some washers. The rubber portion of the washer does have to face the back of the charger. The recommended height for the charger is between 51 and 59 inches. You're going to use an 8 millimeter or 5 16 inch drill bit to drill the pilot holes for the anchors. To remove the cover, you'll push in the two tabs on the bottom of the unit with a flathead screwdriver. And then you'll need to remove the six screws in the next cover using a Phillips screwdriver. I would recommend drilling through the plastic with a small drill bit. And because this cover is so deep, I would recommend also using an extension. Once you're done screwing the unit to the wall, just replace the covers. At this point, your charger is completely ready to begin charging your car. We run an electric car to try out the Autobot charger. We don't have an electric car, obviously. We're more Dodge Ram and SUV people. But this gave us a good excuse to try out an electric vehicle. We're gonna take the electric vehicle up to Moraine State Park here in Western Pennsylvania. And then we're gonna go to McConnell's Mill State Park right after that. McConnell's Mill has a charger that's similar to the Autobot charger that we wanna try out. So we're gonna take a ride up to these parks, drain the battery a little bit, and then get the battery recharged. We noticed that there was a lot of free chargers at the state parks in our area where you can just stop and plug in your vehicle, go walk around, or like my daughter's doing, going and playing on the playground. So you can charge your vehicle while you're out enjoying the park. One thing that I did want to do is compare the chargers that are out on the road to the Autobot charger. And according to the specifications on this charger, it's basically the exact specifications of the Autobot charger if it was hardwired in to a panel box. So the plug-in version, the maximum charging amperage is 40 amps. And if you actually hardwire it in, or if you get the version that's hardwired in, it's 48 amps. After about 30 minutes of charging, we're at 60%. It's time to head home and try out the Autobot charger. Before using the charger, you'll select the charging current of 8 amps, 16 amps, 24 amps, 32 amps, or 40 amps by pushing the touch button. I'm going to choose 40 amps. The RFID card is used to start and stop the charger. This prevents just a random person from using the charger, especially when it's installed outside. After tapping the card, the display will alternate showing the charging power and charging energy along with the charging time in minutes. It shows we're charging 7.6 kilowatts. It's a little hard to see the 53%, but that's what it says, 53%, and we're at 136 miles. So we're going to let this charge for a little while. Once I'm done charging, I'll tap the RFID card to stop charging and return the connector to the holster. If you prefer the convenience of not having to use the card, you can switch the unit to the plug and charge mode. You just unplug the charger, turn off the breaker, take off the two covers, remove the four screws from the screen panel, lift the panel and find the three keys, switch the one key to the on position, reattach the screen panel with the four screws, put the two covers back in place, Turn on the breaker 
and plug in the charger. Now you can just plug in the connector and start charging the vehicle without the use of a card. You'll also notice the RFID icon is now gone on the display. I've learned a lot about electric cars, which is good because it seems like that's where a lot of the auto industry is headed. We didn't charge the vehicle all the way up because the rental company said it's not a big deal to return it empty. And the reason is, is you sitting there charging up your vehicle is gonna take up a lot of your rental time. For the use we got out of the Autobot charger, we think it's an awesome charger for home use and it's easy to install and easy to use. We're so grateful for Autobot for allowing us to review their charger and we thank you for watching.